Welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to talk to you about a classic Boy Scout axe sharpening technique. Stay tuned. If you're out in the backcountry long enough and you've been using your axe, eventually you're going to have to sharpen it. And sharpening in the field can be difficult, it can also be dangerous. And so I want to share with you a great classic Boy Scout axe sharpening technique. And I think that it is very good, it's kind of bushcrafty, and uh, it's just a really neat tool for the toolbox. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. Stay tuned. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of a log. And this one's about four or five inches in diameter and it's longer than my axe or hatchet that I will be using and sharpening. So we're gonna put that on the ground. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get three pegs. And of course, sharpen them on the ends and chamfer them and round them off on the tops so that they don't uh, mushroom out when you put them in the ground. The first peg, we're gonna drive directly into the back, roughly in the center of where we want to sharpen. Just drive it in the ground until it's fairly firm like that. Next, we're going to put these two pegs in front and we're going to keep them out just a little ways, about the width of the handle, of the axe or hatchet that you're using. And we're going to drive those in. And you want to put them in pretty far so that it uh, is below your log. All right, there we go. So that's the arrangement that we have. Next, we're gonna remove the cover of the mask off the ax. I'm gonna place it like this down on the ground with the angle and the, with the bit pointing up, just like this, and the angle against our log. You can see how that looks, just like that. Now, take our file, and the idea is that we can file down. Now, this is going to be dangerous, and so I would uh, recommend using leather gloves, or you can use something like this. It's a piece of leather, and this works as a good pot handle, a uh, good thing to uh, grab hot things off the fire, your frying pan, as it were. But it's got this slit in the center, and that allows me to slide it in like this, and that provides a safe hand guard in case my hand would slip and uh, that way I wouldn't cut myself. So then we simply hold it with this hand down here and then we can just easily go right across and sharpen our ax. So 
So like that. When we get that side done, we flip it around, get it to a clear spot there where we can find that, and then we do the same thing on the other side. Now if you find that the wood's in your way, go ahead and slide this out a little bit so you can get to it a little easier. Just like that. All right. And of course, I'm going to test it. Well, that's really nice and sharp. And we can call that a job well done. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, make sure and check out the merchandise shelf, which is located just below the description box. There you'll find our Teespring link where you can buy Great Waypoint Survival merchandise that goes to help support the channel and the ongoing research that we do here at Waypoint Survival to bring you great content on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. When you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time.